Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to make a basic eye rig using a look at constraint. And we'll also take a quick look at the schematic view and just linking in general. Um, this will be my first tutorial with constraints and I'll go through all the other ones, but this will be the kickoff of it. So the start of the scene, um, we have two sets of eyes. The outer eye is represented here in green, and then I have blue inner eyes um, represented here in blue. So we have two sides, the left side and the right side. And the idea of this is we want to rig it so that we can control it so that they can rotate and look wherever they want without having to actually grab geometry and put keyframes on that. And for that, we'll make some basic controllers and then assign the orient, or sorry, the look at constraint to make it work. So let's go ahead and get started. So with these eyes already in place, um, I'm going to go over to my splines and I'll just start with a circle, something basic, and go over to my side left view here, draw out a circle, and just zero that out. <clears throat> um, from here, I'll copy it, and I'm just hitting Control and V, and the options come up here, say copy, and I'll just make this one a little bit smaller. So after that, I'll just go ahead and scale this out just a little bit, it's, this will act as a container for moving both eyes, and then we'll also make controls that control individual eyes as well. So this bigger one will act as the the, uh, the larger container. So controls, you can look however you want, I'll just keep it like this for now. And um, we'll need two of these smaller circles for one for each eye. So right now we have one, and I'll just copy again, control V, and just move that over to the side real fast. And now when I'm setting these up, I want the alignment of the controller to match the alignment of the eye, and I'll choose the outer eye. So I have this here selected, the controller. I'm control left clicking the outer eye, and I'm hitting Alt Q, which just puts me into an isolation mode. Just easier now so that it's only these two objects in my scene, so I can just work a little more quickly. So I'm selecting this controller here. I'm hitting Alt A for the align tool, which is found up here somewhere, and then left clicking on the eye, and you'll, you'll bring up this dialog here. And right now I'm just matching to the world of the X position, Y position, Z position. You can also match um, the rotations, but since everything's facing forward, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm clicking OK, I'm getting out of that, and then I'll do the same for the other side. So I'm selecting this, selecting the outer eye, Alt Q, um, selecting that again, Alt A for the align, and then aligning it to the eye and only doing the position. Okay, so now we have two spheres, one around each eye, and then this big old parent sphere. And uh, I'll go ahead and color code this just a little bit. So for my left side, I'll maybe make it, uh, we already have blue, so I'll make it like a purple. And for the right side, um, this funky orange brassish color here. And then it's always good to name things. So this is my right eye control. And then this is my left eye control. And then this one acts as both. Um, I just call it middle, M for middle, middle eye control. Uh, Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is parent these together so that this outer eye controls the inner eye. So right now if I were to rotate, you can see only the outer cage is moving and the middle one isn't. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my schematic view, which is up here, clicking that. And this kind of is the overall hierarchy of your scene. So right now everything's on the same level, there's no lines connecting anything, so nothing is controlling anything else. Um, so right now I'm looking at my right eye, and I named these prior to the start of the tutorial, so the right eye uh, inner, and then we also have the right eye outer. And I want the outer controlling the inner. So if you think of it as top to bottom on how things control each other, I want the outer on top and then the inner uh, on the bottom. So the outer will control what happens to the inner. And to quickly do this, I'll just select this inner node here, and up here it's called connect, um, sometimes also called link. And you click that and you just left click hold and you'll get these little dotted lines. 
And when you go over the next node and let go of left click, that'll now be linked. So you see this connecting green line here. So if I close this, and then go to my uh, outer node here and rotate, you can see that they both now move together, which is great. So I'll go ahead and repeat those steps for the right side. So we have, I'm uh, sorry, the left side. So we have the left outer, left inner. So I can select it, go ahead and link it. And now those are good to go. So what's left here are my eye controls. And we want to do something similar as well, similar to what we just did here with the controls. So I'll show you that now. So we want, it's good to have a game plan before you start rigging. So we want this right eye to control only the right eye, and we want this left eye control to only control the left eye. Then we want this middle control here to control both, both the uh, right and left control. So when I move this, they both should move. And so we did something very similar just a couple seconds ago with the eyes, where uh, if you think about it, you want this middle control here to control both. So you can kind of place that on top, and then these would be under it. And then uh, just do a link or the connect from that to that, and then from that to that. So now if I go back to my scene, I select my middle controller, you can see that both the left and right side are moving. And also important is if I select a single control, I have control over moving it left or right, and then it stays in place even if I move the middle one, which is perfect for an iRig. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is set up the constraint. Um, you don't want the control when you do the constraint directly on top of your object. You usually want it out just a little bit so that if there was a head here, it wouldn't be getting obscured. Um, so once you move that out of the way, it's kind of user preference here. Just move it out of the way a little bit and then select your uh, outer eye. And the way you think about constraints for the order of how you do it is whatever is being driven by the controller is selected first. So this will be driven by this. This is the driver, this will be the driven. Um, so I'm selecting the driven, I'm going over here to animation, constraint, and what's called a look at constraint. And again, when you click that, you get that dotted line like before. It's pretty much just saying, pick the next target. And I'm just left clicking on this right eye. And you, if you notice in the viewport there, it kind of rotated up. And this happens because it's, um, for the, how it's aligned. So there's two ways of fixing it. You can either pick the correct alignment uh, here with the, there it is, somewhere around there. Or you can pick the keep initial offset, which will just put it back to the way it was before any kind of uh, a constraint was placed on it. Um, so now if I click this control here and I move it up and down, you can see how everything is following it for just that right eye, which is perfect. Now I'll repeat the same steps for the left eye. So I'm selecting the left outer. I'm going to animation constraint, look at constraint, uh, left clicking on the controller, and then going over here to keep initial offset. So again, test out your rig. Everything's moving as it should, which is great. And let's see if they both move together. They do. So this is essentially the basic rig for an eye is you can animate this one controller and everything looks around together at the same time, which is great. Or if you need individual controls for something like crossing eyes or just doing something a little more goofy like a chameleon or a cartoon rig, you can make the eyes look in any direction that you want and then control them both again at the same time. So I hope this is helpful and uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you need anything else and I'll be here next week. Bye.